each year we host the transplant games, we gather all the athletes, donor family members and supporters for the parade of athletes. Shining a spotlight on each team allows us to tell their story to the rest of the world. I couldn't think of a better way to kick off the games. But here in 2020, parades are so 2019. This year, we may not all be together for the games, but we can certainly do a parade. Virtually, each day this week, you'll see highlights from several of our Transplant Games teams. Want to get started? So do I. Out of the Northeast, 108 team members attending 13 games with more quarter century club members than any other team, including George Franklin, who has had his kidney for nearly 45 years. You see those crab hats? You already know. It's Team Maryland. Hi, I'm Latrice Price from the Living Legacy Foundation of Maryland, and my team is Team Maryland. Team Maryland is excited about coming to Jersey for the 2020 Transplant Games. We, um, a few things about our team. We're um, one of the teams that have the most um, number of ordinary recipients who've had their transplant 25 years or more. Off the top of my head, I think we have about six um, of our team members. We are a very small team, but very mighty. And we were um, excited that we won the Spirit Award last games and we come in with our full spirit this games. Bringing it with 139 team medals, which is amazing for a 20 person team. These guys have been to 12 transplant games. Give it up for Patricia Shapiro and Team New York Northeast. Hi, my name is Patricia Shapiro. I'm with Team Northeast New York. We're located in the Capital District of New York State. We're a small team, but we're mighty, and we're very excited about coming to the Meadowlands in New Jersey. Disappointed we couldn't be there this year, but next year we're gonna be really ready to go. Um, our team is about uh, eight athletes, and we have about eight more family members and friends who will be joining us. Um, we've done well with medals in the past and we're looking for medals again this year. So um, most of our athletes are transplant recipients. Uh, we have one heart recipient, um, a liver recipient and several uh, kidney recipients. There are a number of us also who are living kidney donors and will be joining the team. And uh, I'm very excited about it. Last year, when we were at the games, well, actually two years ago, um, we won medals and we plan to do it again. So we're ready to go. Uh, can't wait. And um, come on, transplant games. Let's get ready. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry for some chicken wings. Hailing from Western New York, attending 11 transplant games, give it up for Team Buffalo. Joining us with a message from Team Buffalo is team manager, Barbara Breckenridge. Uh, hello, uh, this is Barbara Breckenridge. I'm from Team Buffalo. I am the team captain and all of our athletes are looking forward to coming to uh, New Jersey. We are excited about competing, but most of all, we're excited to let people see how well we are doing and the things that we can do after transplantation. And we're just looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, you know, we meet so many people over the years doing uh, the games, and we're just looking so forward to seeing all the other team members there from all over the United States. So we are very grateful to be able to participate. Next up, attending 22. Yes, folks, 22 previous games. This team works with their donor families and recipients as one team. Led by manager Michelle Lester, give it up for Team Finger Lakes. Hi, I'm Michelle Lester. I'm the co-manager of Team Finger Lakes up in the central New York area. We are looking forward to, we were looking forward to coming to the games in 2021, but we've been put on pause. So while we're on pause, we're gonna enjoy the time, raise some extra funds, and we've had a couple transplants happen recently, so those people will be eligible and ready to come with us. Um, I, we're trying to recruit new people, and we'd like new athletes, and hopefully we're getting a bunch of younger athletes to join our team within this next year. So I hope to see you all in uh, the Meadowlands, and we'll see you in New Jersey in 2021. Up next, the 2016 Games Team Spirit Award winners. From their youngest member, three-year-old Mason to their eldest, Russ Maynard. 
This team believes that a little competition never hurt anyone. And I completely agree. Say hello to Team New England. Joining us now from Team New England is 16-year-old Wendy Wooden. Hi, I'm Wendy Wooden from Team New England. Team New England has participated in the Transplant Games for over 20 years with members from New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. There are 82 members on Team New England. Our youngest is two and our oldest is 78. In 2018, our 31 athletes brought home 75 medals all cheered on by our amazing supporters who are by our side every step of the way, encouraging us to go for the goal. Melvin is our team mascot. He's a crazy orange puppet that rooms with the team members, Derek and Logan. He pops out at certain events to cheer everyone on. In 2018, participated in a track run with Logan, helping a friend only by an arm's length. His motto is, run your guts out. Team New England is one big happy family. We attend the games to celebrate life, each other, and just to have fun. Go team! 300 members strong, together for 38 years. Today, they are honoring two-time heart recipient and beloved team member, John Clyde. John passed away in 2019, but his memory lives on with his team. Led by their mascot, Heartman, say hello to Team Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Kelly Anzac and I'm the team manager of Team Philadelphia. We are so excited to be traveling to the Transplant Games of America in beautiful northern New Jersey, our backyard. We're very excited this year to have our largest traveling team and the biggest team that Team Philadelphia has ever had. Looking forward to seeing everyone in New Jersey. Over 350 team members and counting, winning a combined 170 medals over the 2016 and 2018 games. This team is a family, supporting each other before, during, and after the games. Led by Lady Liberty, our host team for the 2020 Transplant Games. Give it up for Team Liberty! Hello everybody, this is Mike Struziak from Team Liberty. I'm one of the co-managers along with Patty DeSanto, Mike DiPiano, and Joanne Pinto from Connecticut. We're so excited about Team Liberty being the host team for the Transplant Games. Well, they've been pushed off a year, but they're even going to be better. It gives us more time to figure out greater things to do. Well, remember, the Transplant Games is for promoting transplantation and honoring our loved ones who gave us the greatest gift one could give. That's the main thing. And to get the, a word out about how important it is so that more people could be saved by this greatest gift that one could give. Now, in New Jersey, we're all ready. We had a little setback, but we have the basketball courts ready. We have the softball ready. We got the tennis ready. We got basketball shirts ready to go. We even got our mascot ready. And of course, we have golf. You know, that's my specialty. And guess what? Ballroom dancing, my forte with my beautiful wife. And remember, when you see Team Liberty and all us great people, We'll be there at opening ceremonies, you know what? Wearing our hats and having our goggles and they'll be all ready to go. So guess what, Team Liberty? Let's go, go, go. And everybody come to the Transplant Games. It's going to be fantastic. 